Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. I really hope, I really hope, I really hope I can find at least one of the multiple pawns. Whoa, okay. So we just made it away before all of those other pieces decided to go ahead and pop. But welcome back, everyone. So good news. We managed not to, you know, die. Bad news. I was not able to get down. <laughs> I could not figure out for the life of me. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, that's hilarious. My pot that I tried to put out in order to go ahead and have just a little bit more weight to go ahead and, and pull us out of the sky. <laughs> the flamethrowers that I used once I ran out of fans and was desperately trying to go ahead and find some way to move down. All of those kind of scattered around us right now. I'm in awe that we somehow did not die from that. But the Grand Pavilion experiment proved two things. Yes, after a time, they will indeed vanish on us, no matter what we try to do. And also, um, I couldn't figure out how to get down. So that's probably some sort of matter of fancy schmancy physics that I, I might have to consult an expert in. Okay, my husband chips. But I have to say I'm really proud that we were able to go so far and that we were able to accomplish as much as we did because, um, wow, we managed to explore so many of the spots that are way, way, way up there in the sky. We found a Korok. We found an energy cell that we promptly used up finding a Korok. And I'm not sure what other treasure might be hiding over there, but I am ready, I think, to go ahead and start working our way properly over to the Temple of Time. We have gathered all of the blessings from the shrine. We have gone ahead and gotten ourselves into an extremely chaotic and unnecessary adventure of awesomeness. Uh, there's still a few spaces where I know I would be able to break open caves and do a little bit of exploring. But for now, since I've already proven over and over and over again, that I am chaos and trouble and will no doubt get myself completely lost somewhere else in the world. And I don't think it's my imagination that that dragon got closer. Just saying. Just saying. I think it's time to make sure that we at very least go ahead and arrive here at the Temple of Time. Ready to work our way through and find whatever message it is that Princess Zelda has left for us. <sighs> Let's do this. I very nearly set out in the world and got myself quite lost without coming here. But thankfully, we made it just in time. No pun intended, because it is the Temple of Time. Oh. I thought we would have to do a lot. It looks like we have something waiting for us right here, though. I had a feeling it wasn't going to be her in person. Wow, look at her outfit. It definitely matches the Konai ruins, the Zonai part. That must be really hard. Imagine shaking the hand of someone you care about, but it's not their hand anymore. <laughs> oh, there we go. And again, if I have to talk during the dramatic scenes, I apologize. Just consider me a very annoying little fairy named Copyright Strike. All right, it was a good thing that we finally did this. I 
every additional step we take will just give us even more abilities to be able to explore the secrets that are waiting for us. Yeah, I had a feeling she wouldn't be here. Recall. Reverse an object's movement until it goes back to where it was. You can stop the reverse movement at any time. I could have used that on my platforms! Ah, recall. The ability to reverse the movement of an object through time. And Zelda has vanished as well. Hmm. What you just saw, it is a mystery even to me. Perhaps it was a sort of echo. One that reflects her sheer will. I mean, what are you? Hmm. Now that you've been given this ability, no doubt it will prove important. Okay, that actually significantly surprises me. Because I was under the impression uh -huh, that he actually was involved in being able to go ahead and, and get Zelda here. So I was going to rewind this. Uh -huh. Interesting. I don't know if it's going to last long enough, but... Oh, I see. Alright, there we go. Alright, and then if I wanted to rewind this... To go ahead and let me through... And that's how you recall it. Alright. And I got a statue to finish it off. Which begs the question, did Zelda leave this here? Because there are other types of statue that the Zonai had in their shrines and temples. The goddess statue smiles upon you. Okay, anything else? Alright. I wonder, maybe I was supposed to have something else to offer her? <laughs> oh. the, this door stands as a test of your own overall, vo overall vitality. You remain in a weakened state. You're not yet strong enough to open it. But there is one more shrine on this island. There, you can get another blessing. Oh. If you add that to the other blessings you received at shrines and offer them all to the goddess, you might just find your way forward after all. Mm. Oh. I actually was pretty ready, to be fair. I had already tried to escape. <laughs> ah, the Pura Pad lets you travel to certain places instantly. Okay, so anywhere blue. And then we'll be able to get down. Aha, to the shrine. Got it. Well, extremely useful. But I have to wonder. Okay, will that really let me just zip right over here? The Room of Awakening. Ah, there's that ability to rise shrine. Oh, I see. Oh, and it looks like you can see where I've actually gone ahead and been able to do a little bit more exploring. And I found the Korok over here. Oh, how fun! Now look, and then you can see where I found another one of the Koroks. Which means, yes, the two were over here. One over here. Now I'm looking at every single one of these pawns extremely suspiciously. Yes, this was the Korok that we found after I got the platforms all the way over here. I see. Oh, and these are where the device dispensers are marked. 
That is very convenient, and I can't help but think that there's definitely something hiding in some of those ruins. But for now, let's go ahead and travel over here. Apparently I've already been there, and I've already found a Korok. Not bad to find almost ten of them, like seven at the very least, before we've even set foot down on land. Okay. I was not expecting this. Is this where I woke up? I think it is. Whoa. Okay, that's a little humbling. And I wonder if these are the roots of the Deku tree that actually... Is this legitimately... It might be the roots of the tree that I found the Korok in. Oh, that's so interesting. Yeah, look. Wow. Okay. All right, all right. Let's see. So there's going to be one more shrine, and clearly I need to go ahead and try to... Ah, reverse. So I'm going to rewind this. Maybe after making a jump for it. Alright, come here, you. And then, anything over here? Oh, I guess I could have actually gone ahead. <laughs> and I could have uh, just used the Ascend ability, which I keep forgetting about. It just seems so tremendously overpowered to be able to swim through stone itself. But I need to get used to using those abilities if I want to find all of the secrets that I'm after. There we go. Uh-oh. Well, I mean, that's one way to do it. Okay. So... I feel like there definitely was a point in getting over here. I just don't exactly know what it was, but I'm gonna give it a good search, just to be sure. Because, I mean, if I can reverse these, I wonder if I'm supposed to go the other direction. if I let it dump me out on the other side or up here interesting oh oh okay okay also very interesting There's the shrine. <laughs> so that's where it was hiding. That is rather amazing. I thought I was looking for a secret, but look what I found instead. This is a crystal refinery. I can take your crystallized charges and use them to produce energy wells. Energy wells? An energy well can increase the capacity of the energy cell you're carrying. This increased capacity will allows you, allow you to use Zonai devices for longer periods. Boy, would that have been useful to have. <laughs> I can produce these energy wells for you if you bring me crystallized charges. Shall I begin production? All right. A hundred? Okay. Uh, the mines on this island have nearly run dry. I doubt there's enough left to produce an energy well. There is more to be had. Check on the distant depths of the world below. That is its original source. So that is... 100 crystallized charges. One note regarding the zo zonite required to produce. 
Okay, so it also needs a hundred charges, which I ha I definitely don't have since I burned through so many of mine. And it also needs the Zonite, which again, don't have, burned through, or wait, 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 no, I should still have my Zonite. I sacrificed my platforms to keep my Zonite. There it is. Huge chunk of Zonite. I'm just going to peek over here real quick. See where we are. And I think I've been up there. If I've been able to go ahead and actually find a Korok right on the spot. Yeah, I have. I don't even know how I got there, but I'm glad I found him. And now I know that's the crystal refinery. There's the shrine. What else can I see from here real quick? It's been a big day of adventure. And I had geared myself up. Oh, this is very high. All right, but I really wanted to see what is in that lake right there, because that looks really suspicious to me. And wait, how did I... How did I find... Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I need to emotionally recover from this. I'll see you guys next time.